All right, good people. Welcome back to my black university. Boy, Big Vic. So, oh, hey, come on. That out. I could be perfect to my black university boy today. It's time for my actually more than two week review on Garner's. God, let's get that. Damn. On Garner's Garden is handmade, 100% natural antibacterial mouthwash. Do it twice daily to reduce strength. Now, this is, we're going to talk about that. And the remineralizing tooth powder. New tooth powder. Oh, my bad. So, let's talk about this real quick. For this to be reduced strength, this stuff is potent. Uh, but let me, let me throw this out there. I don't usually use mouthwash, per se. I'll, I got my little, you know, the inhale floss, and I brush my teeth twice a day, and I hit it with some floss every now and again. But of course, if you're going to use this, you got to use this with it. Now, one thing um, I will say do not use this like you use every day. Typical mouthwash that you get your grocery store. That's the reason why they tell you only use so much. Let's see if we can find that, uh, that amount. Yeah, two thirds of an ounce. They're, they're telling you for a reason because if you look right down in here, that's because when I was using it, I was kind of using it similar to regular mouthwash. So I was overusing it. I didn't need to use it much. So now I'm, I'm doing better now. But as you can see, that to compare to how much tooth powder I have left, so I'm gonna have to buy some more of that. And this is after I wasted some on accident. Oh man, it, oh man, I picked this up. I didn't have the top all the way on, and it dropped on my hand. I thought I wasted. Oh, I was, I was like, man, I'm gonna be sick. But yeah, meter yourself a lot less. Like, how much you think cut it in half to cut it in half again, and then you're right about where you need to use this product along with this powder. Even if you're just doing regular uh, rinsing on your mouth alone. Now, this is 100% natural. The taste is nothing like scope or listerine or anything like that. It's not going to be that sweet, minty, this, that, or third. They use essential oil, but it doesn't have that sweet taste that you're accustomed to. So you have to, when you go in and you first take, you're going to smell the essential oil and peppermint, but when it hits your, your tongue, hits your mouth, you're going to be like, okay. It's actually a bland flavor. So you, that way you know there's nothing else in there. There's no chemicals that you got to worry about your body absorbing over time. So this is 100% natural in that respect. Also, you don't have to worry about the same aftertaste when you're using certain mouthwashes. There's kind of a, there's a, uh, after hint of mint, you know what I'm saying, bars, when you use this, but it's not necessarily an aftertaste. You have to use it to understand it and experience. I'm sorry, that's, that's all I can say. Now let's get on to the tooth powder. I, uh, this stuff for me, it works. I actually have a little bit of chipping on my, my third tooth from the middle on the right side of my jaw it, it slightly it was slightly chipped on the um on the round part of the tooth not the very tip of the tooth on um up top on my upper gums it was slightly chipped and i feel like it's less pronounced than since i've been using this i could run my tongue across it and feel it but since i've been using this it is way less pronounced and i feel like it's actually doing what it's supposed to do what it says it does with mineralizing it's helping that tooth, which is awesome because um, right behind my canine, the tooth I was talking about was before my canine, and the, the, there's a tooth right behind my canine. It's been decaying for some time. It's actually been chipped down really bad. It's been chipped more. Now, this won't save a chipping tooth. So if you have a tooth that's decaying, you have to go to the dentist for that. This is for your teeth, to, you know, you kind of wear your teeth out. You drink a lot of coffee, a lot of soda. There's just a lot of things that enter your mouth and you brush twice a day, but you don't brush in between a day. You don't really rinse all this stuff out. And this is this will help prevent the can tooth case. In my personal opinion, not, I'm not a dentist, so don't necessarily quote me a dentist, but disagree. But to me, from what I'm experiencing, uh, a 
I feel like it's actually saving this one tooth that's right in front of my canine. I don't know the technical term for that tooth. I don't have to look it up. But the one that's after the king is still the king, and that's just something with the rule that's uh, not proper tooth care. I'm not saying it didn't. So that's not for that. If you're thinking, oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna save my rotting teeth. No, this is not for that. This is for the teeth that are, are getting that are getting worn down, but you want to get them back healthy. This is what you use that for. Uh, the taste on this is, uh, let me just be honest with you, it's terrible. But it's not, like all good medicine, the real good medicine, is, it's just terrible. It's, it's going to be like that. So if you're thinking you're going to use this for taste, uh, you're going to be greatly disappointed. It's for cleaning the mouth, and that's what it does. Um, a lot of stuff you use, like um, Chris has a, a whitening toothpaste they use that i um, now that I've been using this, I'm glad I don't use that no more because it would after I brush my teeth, brush my gums and everything, it always left a film in my mouth and I always had to rinse my mouth out a lot and literally get that film out and it was always thick and it was the worst thing ever. And uh, for a time I thought that I was really, really cleaning my mouth and cleaning my teeth. I was like, okay, maybe that's because of my back. But it's just something not right about that. I'm sorry, that's, it was disgusting and I'm glad I don't use it no more. But this, you don't have to worry about that. This, that's what it's supposed to do. You know, let's talk about any irritation uh, that I'm experiencing. The only redness that I, I noticed would be right under my bottom gums, in the front of my teeth. Other than that, there was no redness up top any, or anywhere else or any other part of my gum, top or bottom. It's just right there in the front. And um, as I got, as I was using it more and more, the redness would lessen. And I, I, I said I contributed a lot of just a uh, poor tooth care uh, on my end as opposed to this product. Now, you may not experience that. It may, you may have swelling. You, you may not have it at all. It's up to the individual. You know, you know what to do. It, it has the warnings. It lets you know what to do. So you'll be all right. So you can take care of you. That's that's one thing about this company I like. They're not looking for a quick buck. They're, they're serious about quality product. So that's all I know. So my end. Um, <clears throat> now I'm gonna post up some pictures of uh, midweek, my first week using this product, and then um, another picture showing after that, and then a picture from tonight when I use it. That's when I upload edit this video, and it'll be uploaded. You guys can see it for yourself. You can determine for yourself what you think from my pictures. Uh, say the results may vary for every person, uh, but I'm gonna use this long term. I'm gonna use this product long term. Now, what I probably add because I'm still trying to get used to the taste, and I'm accustomed to using a toothpaste. You know, it foams up and everything, saying that you know, just a, a standard everyday quote unquote regular toothpaste. I probably pick up a neem toothpaste. N e e m all natural toothpaste, neem toothpaste, just to uh, use in conjunction with this. We we'll use this twice a day, and then we we'll use that to kind of work it out. But one, uh, real quick, you will learn to rinse your mouth thoroughly. I don't think any of us was ever doing it enough. We just do it so much. You will learn to rinse your mouth thoroughly using this product, which is good actually. Uh, you get a lot of it out, and honestly, I, I feel like it does do a good job cleaning my teeth and. Uh, Keep my, my breath fresh as far as uh, not having to use any chemicals, try to mask any odors or anything like that. So, uh, big shout out to Garner's Garden. I recommend this product. Uh, like I said, I'm going to put some pictures up after this video. You can uh, take those pictures and make your own decision on your own. But, uh, all in all, I think this is a great product. Add some neem toothpaste in the mix. Just kind of switch it up and. Uh, help you transition off of everyday ordinary toothpaste into all natural products and I think you have a winning combination a winning team and with that being said this video is going to run a little long thank you guys for your love and support please like share comment subscribe and until next time peace and blessings I say
Shout out to Lawrence Barnes, my teacher, I'm a young savage trying to be better than average, and if I ain't got a lot coming after whoever had.